everybody, I'm Jasmine and welcome back to another MCYU at home challenge where you'll be pushed to question, discover, and create. Today we're going to be talking about mind games and exercise our brains. Before we start the activity, I want to give you some fun facts about the brain and memory. Our brains are wonderful and capable of so many things, but how are we able to remember them all? This is a picture of the brain. The brain is divided into four main lobes, the frontal lobe, temporal lobe, parietal lobe, and finally the occipital lobe. The frontal lobe is the part of the brain that controls our problem solving, behavior, and our movement. The parietal lobe is responsible for language, the occipital lobe is used for vision, and finally the temporal lobe controls our hearing and feeling. This is also where the hippocampus is, the part of the brain that oversees memory. Pretty cool, right? Our memory is already amazing, but how can we make it even better? Are you ready for the activity? Let's get started. The name of the activity is visual drawing. Step one, you will need a piece of paper, pen or pencil, and a partner. Step two, once you get a partner, you will have to decide which one of you will be person A and person B. Step three, now that you have assigned roles, person A will start by telling a story. It can be made up from your imagination or something that you have experienced. Pause this video and for the next three minutes, as person A is telling their story, person B should be drawing the story from start to finish. Step 4. Now you are going to switch roles with your partner. Person B, you are now going to be telling a story of your choice as person A draws it out from start to finish. Pause the video for the next three minutes as you do so. The final step is to retell each other's stories. Let's start with person A. You are going to retell person B's story using your visual drawing as an aid for clues. Once you are done, person B will retell person A's story using their drawing. Pause the video for two minutes while you complete the step. All right guys, now that we have completed all five steps of the activity, let's discuss. Were you able to retell your partner's story better with the visual drawing? Or do you think you could have told the story without the drawing at all? As you may have noticed, it can be quite challenging to retell a story without any aid. However, when we use drawings, it helps us remember the details better. You see, our brains are dedicated to processing visual information more than any other sense. This is why drawing helps us improve our memory and overall learning. Now that you understand how visual drawing can help us, can you think of other situations where you can use drawings to help you remember some things? Perhaps you can use this technique to remember a list of items on a grocery list. Or even remember all the planets in the solar system. There is so much to learn about the brain. I'm sure you have questions of your own. Share them with us through email or social media. In case you missed our last two videos, check them out on our website. Make sure to tune in next week for the following challenge. Bye!